But it's much more than goal scoring form, isn't it? It's just an all round level of confidence that you can see, which is in such stark contrast to what we saw, say, 12 months ago from him. Yeah, it's just a different frame, different frame of mind. Um, a, ma a manager that's come in and he's playing a brand of football that suits him. You know, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's, he's like I mentioned at the start, he's had a he's had a break. You know what I mean? He's, his head's clear. He knows what he wants to do. He's he's very fit, and you know the, the club's starting to starting to turn the corner in respects of where they're going. You know, it's still early doors, but he is a, one of the main main reasons why they're doing what they're doing. And obviously, the manager's done well to get them going there. Yeah. Well, what do you make of what you see of Rashford just at the moment? Well, the beauty of tonight, walk, watch him, Marcus. This is what I expect from him now. I'm not surprised what I've seen tonight. I think he's now becoming hopefully one of the main players for United. Can he get him back to competing to winning trophies? He's taking responsibility. So tonight with his two assists and goals, I'm thinking, I kind of expect this from Marcus now every week. He's obviously playing with confidence. We've seen him for the, obviously the first and second goal he assists. When he's got full backs or wing backs in the positions, 1v1s, he's going to go by you. It, 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 we, can't, we can't even be too critical of their, their defending tonight. Yeah, we said the first one, it could have been a bit more aggressive. <coughs> but this tonight, when, it, when he gets this ball here, you're looking and we're watching it. We've got a great view from where we're sitting. We're thinking, Everton are in trouble here now. And particularly, Seamus Coleman's in trouble. Marcus is going to decide here. She, I, Seamus can't do anything about it. Even a 20-year-old Seamus Coleman, you cannot defend that. I think it's just brilliant It's just too player. quick, isn't it? It's just it's too, too quick. Nimble. And he's, got, he's, he's going to decide what he's going to do. That's what the good players do. You talk about stopping it. You can't stop the really players who are in top form. And Seamus, he's got him on toast there. He's in total control of that situation. You see Malassia running him inside. Um, and so you can see that it's, it's all part of the making sure that Marcus Rashford gets his time to get space and to run at the player. Then you have to know your players. You've got to run at someone like Seamus Combs. It's like what we saw Damari Gray when he had Varane. Run at those players. Commit them. And that's what he's done. And there. Connor Cody can't do anything else, no, can he? He's got to commit know. because obviously he doesn't know what's behind him necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's what happens. And he's facing his own goal and just pierce on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. How to defend. Um, Everton thought it was 2 2. Yeah. It was a really well worked goal, inadverted commas. Yeah. It's a lovely touch from Damari Gray. Is it a bit, is it being overly critical of Damari Gray to say he should be able to stay onside there? Well, I think when you, when you look at it, you, you have to say, in this instant, it's a beautiful flick from him to firstly. I think, yes, he's, he seems to be in a very much of a hurry to get onto that when there's a lot of space there. You've got to look at Luke, Luke Shaw's number um, in the first instance. Mm -hmm. You know, because once he gets put someone in this situation, he's beating them all night. So, you know, he's done brilliantly, but it's, it's earlier on. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of space. There it is. There's a lot of space to run into. Luke Shaw, to be fair to him, he's run inside and he's run towards the player. So, Mark, so you've seen Demario Gray running forward instead of just trying to stay level with yeah. Luke Shaw. But it's so He's got tight. such a good view but of yeah, Luke Shaw. Yeah, but the thing is, is that the margins are so yeah, tight. Now. Even tight. if he does it, he could still be But you have to do it quick. Now. You yeah. have to do it quick. Yeah. 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 You know, if he slows down there, United get back. So, it's a tight it's call. Different. And it's a bit different. unlucky. But it's again, you saw the Shaw comes yeah. down for Shaw. You, you, you can't play Shaw as a centre-half against any sort of decent striker. He'll be fond of. We just saw little clips there. I mean, I know it's very hard, but today with VAR, you'll never get away with it. In the way, you know, two years ago, that would probably not have been given yeah. with the naked eyes offside. We wouldn't right. be talking about it. Yeah, I always go it, back to that. You remember, you can go back to it. You still want to give the attacking team or the attacker the benefit of the doubt yeah. that the rules are. He's yeah. offside. Well, Gabriel talks about the banners, the sack, the board banners, which were <laughs> here this evening. But there was a. There was a progression, there was an aggression about Everton in the second half that should give Frank Lampard a little bit of hope. Yeah, this year he, would have got, he would have been encouraged by tonight's performance, of course, as another defeat. But they've got, to, they've got to bring that into the next game. They've got to bring that tenacity, that character we talk about, which they showed against Man City. And sometimes it's easier to do that when you're expected to be beaten and you sit in and you get some plaudits, even for getting beaten. But they've got to go on now and win some football matches, as is Southampton, West Ham. They've got to get some positive results, or obviously the pressure will keep building. I think when you look at the way um, Onana played, I think Decore looked something like what I've seen him when he's playing pretty at his best. You know, if they can get Calvert Lewin on, get, they've got to get the ball into the box. If they're, especially they're going to defend like this, which I think they should do, keep it tight, keep it strong. And then with Damari Gray, you know, I, I know he said that Marcus Rashford was the difference, and he was because obviously he set up to and scored. But Damari Gray had a lot of say in this game. And if you could get him going, get that defence solid, and then just a little bit better in the final third, get some crosses in the box for Dominic Calvert Lewin to attack. And then, you know, who knows? But I feel that what I saw tonight, especially with that for the fans, and fans, 9,000 fans come here tonight with the way they Sometimes play. it's easier right away from home. Yes, the problem yeah, is with the atmosphere, maybe. 
obviously protest against the board. Yeah. The players have got to show a bit of character and bravery at home. Yeah, in the home matches when the fans are on your back say, listen, I, I'm playing for Everton, I'm a big player, give me the ball and show some sort of bravery. Courage is not about hitting people all the time, it's about wanting the ball when you don't want it and that's what they've got to show. It's OK coming to Old Trafford and again, getting, getting a few plaudits, even though you've been beaten, it's what you do at home because obviously that will dictate their season whether they can stay in the league. But they, they've shown enough tonight to say, listen, there's worse teams off than you in the Premier League. Definitely. And with one and or two lads coming back from back, injuries. Even if it's, yeah. even if it's a little bit negative, you have to. Five at the back. Have I've got to. no problem with the Everton fans doing that because I think the Everton fans should be saying that and I think the board should be saying something to those fans. Those fans turn up with the way Everton have been running the last few years and they still turn up tonight after mm. hammering the other day. They should be saying something. Seven to wins in a row. Yeah. It's the beast stirring. Well, you know, we'll see how it goes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll That's see. what he says, Norley. Yeah. Yeah. That momentum, yeah. you got to keep going on, build on that. Yeah.